Okay, this is the video on how to make a time lapse with Final Cut Pro 10. First thing we want to do is uh, create our project. And we'll call the project Final Cut Pro Time Lapse Tutorial. Uh, I like these settings given the, uh, the picture quality that I'm going to be using. And after we have our timeline, we want to import our media. So import files. Create a new event. Call it the exact same thing. And then we want to select the pictures that we're going to use. Using uh, about 200 GoPro pictures here. About 1.2 megabytes to 1.3 megabytes. Now generally what I've found is that the bigger the picture file or the more pictures you're going to use, the longer this whole process takes to complete, even though it's a few simple clicks on the computer from start to finish. And there we go, we now have our event library filled with our pictures. What we want to do is select all. Several ways to do this. I'm just going to click the first one, scroll down, select the last one so they all are selected. Next, what we want to do is simply drag the pictures into the timeline, like so. Now again, this process is uh, going to take a little while, but when you see that little uh, red circle with the number of pictures on it, you know that it's working. I'm just going to wait for them to jump down into our timeline, and there we go. Uh, let's zoom out here a little bit. Basically, what we have our timeline is populated with picture files. So what we want to do is make that one picture, if you will. So let's scroll out and want to select all. Next what we want to do is right click. And we're going to go up and select new compound clip. Now basically what that does is take all of our picture files and make it one movie file, if you will. You can see as I scroll back and forth, a little bit of animation going on. Next what we want to do is retime the clip. So we're going to right click on it again, select retime. A little green bar is going to pop up. What you're going to want to do is drag that to the left. Basically, the further you drag it to the left, the faster the time lapse is going to be. Zoom in here a little bit, speed it up even more. It's really the uh, best thing about using Final Cut Pro 10 for making these time lapse videos is the fact that you can speed it up. Uh, it's basically unlimited to the speed you can make the time lapse. So that's basically it. You can see uh, the time lapse starting to come together. Of course, uh, if we look at the rendering, it's not even at 0%, so it's a little choppy right now. But once it renders to 100%, you'll be good to go. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Get out there and shoot some time lapses for yourself.